looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna go over the most overpowered players in madden right now guys now overpowered guys does not include price best players in each position more so I, li I like to kind of implement like oh maybe pricing in there or the best players to pick up you know maybe i'll give you two options but this almost overpowered players is just the best players in the game now i'm gonna be ranking this out of eight now the thing with this though guys for the out of eight ranking it's in an order but remember it's very circumstantial like i could say a you know a running quarterback but you don't use a running quarterback so that guy's not even on your list right so don't take the actual rankings as an exact science just know that these top eight of the guys that you want on your team right and before we get into today's video, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn the noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up, guys. Always like and comment, and of course, if you need coins to pick up any of these guys, head on over to Mutt Coin Bank down below and use code Poodle for 5% off your order. Take advantage of the super cheap coins. But yeah, let's get into this list. Definitely excited, guys. It's a pretty good list. I mean, we've had some really good players drop as of recently. Now, the first guy on the list coming at number eight is Marvin Harrison. Now, Marvin Harrison, the new ultimate legend that did just drop about a week ago. Um... 97 overall now this marvin harrison why is he great first off he will get powered up and chemed up right he will get 99 speed with close to 99 catching with well pretty decent catching all around well pretty great catching all around but his route running right it's a speed and route running he'll have 99 speed with almost maxed out route running across the board with 95 agility with 93 change of direction you know and so on and so forth right his juke will be above 95 He's going to be a great after the catch receiver while also being a great, you know, catching receiver and route running receiver and being super fast. And he's six feet tall, right? He's an all around package. It's kind of like what you want in this game. It's like if Tyree Kill, they gave Tyree Kill a slightly better, like, wide receiver card. You know what I mean? Like, but Tyree Kill's better after the catch, right? But Marvin Harrison is a little better all around. Aaron Donald's the next guy. Aaron Donald's um, NFL honors card is absolutely insane. Uh, right end power rusher, right? Uh, this card art's really cool. LTD card can be powered up, of course, to a 98 overall. Now, what's so good about this card? First off, his speed and his Excel is pretty good for an Aaron Donald card, right? His speed will get up to an 87, and his Excel will be at a 94. Now, his strength is 99, his block shot will be 98, and his power move finesse will be 99s. So he's going to be one of the top tier ends in the game. Aaron Donald cards just always play good. They always play good. You guys know the deal with him. 80 jumping, 97 impact blocking. He will also have 92 hit power. He's just an all-around stud. And it's Aaron Donald. You probably have him powered up. So I feel as though a lot of people probably want to go ahead and keep that power-up train going. Next, guys, we have Night Train Lane. This card is super, super good. A lot of people sometimes look at Night Train Lane speed right away and be like, oh, you know, he's kind of in line with everyone else. But it's the behind-the-card stats for Night Train Lane that really, really make the difference. So Night Train Lane. Now, Night Train Lane, he has a 95 speed, right? So powered up and counted up only gets to 98, which is still great. But here's the thing, his Excel will be 97 with 98 speed, with top tier agility, top tier jumping. He'll have um, 99 man, 98 zone, and 99 press. Now the thing with him though is he gets 80 strength for a cornerback, that's important. 82 catching, again for a cornerback, really good. Um, 95 change direction, amazing. Now 80 spec catch, above 90 juke, and 93 break tackle, and even more importantly, 95 hit power, guys. He's an all around piece. He's like Deion Sanders, if Deion Sanders is more physical, um, if Deion Sanders maybe a bit, you know, a bit stronger and as well as guys he can lay the boom and tackle which is something Deion sanders can't do which is why this car is just so well rounded he can be so versatile right you're not just having him out there for speed and you know locking people down like he can do a lot more he can lay the boom which is super important now the next guy on this list is a guy that i actually really like and i feel like his price isn't as expensive as it could be for this card edger and james is a really really good running back best running back in the game in my opinion um he could just do everything, right? He's like if Bo Jackson was slightly, slightly less bulky, but also a bit faster and a bit more elusive. So this car will get 99 speed, 97 is Excel, 97 agility, 96 catching, above 80, sorry, carrying, above 80 catching. He will get close to 99 change of direction, having an above 90 truck, close to 99 break tackle with an 89 plus truck, as well as a few other stuff behind the car, like a 95 uh, juke. 92 stiff, 96 change of direction, like I said, 93 spin move, decent route running, um, 95 break tackle, like even 80 short route running. This car is going to be an absolute beast. He can do everything in the game. He's fast, he's powerful, and he can catch. There's nothing that card can't do, which is why he's such a great running back. Coming in number four, we have Aaron Rodgers. Now, this Aaron Rodgers card is an absolute beast as well. The uh, NFL Honors MVP card, 
This is a great card. Best quarterback probably in the game. He's an improviser, of course, but doesn't affect. I mean, he still gets his abilities, I believe. So, powered from Kemda, right? He'll be a 98 overall with 85 speed. Now, he'll have 99 throw power, 99 throw short, 99 throw medium, 97 throw deep. Um, close to 99 and a few other stats as well. Now, the key here is going to be that throw power combined with that accuracy, combined with the speed, combined with Aaron Rodgers' naturally good release. And even has an 84 change of direction, which is useful. Break sack still 90. Throw under pressure is good. Card all around is just an absolute beast, guys. And like I said, that his release, or his release, no matter what, the super fast release has always kept Aaron Rodgers in the top tier. And that does it, it you know, when he has an MVP card, it's even better. Next, we have Javon Kears at number three. Can't go wrong with this stud. Master of the all rookie promo. This card insane, right? Powered up and chemmed up. His speed and excel. He'll have a 95 speed with a 97 excel. One of the fastest ends in the game, if not the fastest end. Combine that with the fact that he has a 98 finesse move. He'll have a 99 finesse move, as well as a 93 block shed, a 99 play rec, potentially, depending on the chems you use, 92 strength. That change of direction, 91 impact blocking, 94 hit power. This card is going to be the best speed rusher in the game. You really can't go wrong with a guy that fast, right? Now, the top two guys. So, coming to number two is Darius Slay. The new Darius Slay for the, um, the new promo is insane, guys. This Darius Slay is absolutely crazy. Now, again, he's six feet tall, which is great. Powered up and chemed up, he'll have 99 speed, 97 excel, 95 agility, 94 jumping, 99 play rec, 99 man, 99 zone, 99 press. So we'll have a 99 speed corner with 99 all coverage stats, as well as 95 agility, as well as above eight, 84 catching is crazy for a cornerback. 95 change of direction was probably a 96 as well. Now, as we keep moving up, it's just absolutely insane. 85 spec catch. Like, yes, he can't chew. He can't do some of that Dion stuff, but hit power, 86. He also has hit power. So he's kind of like a better coverage version of Night Train Lane, but a little bit less strength and hit power, but he still can hit, right? You put him together with Night Train Lane, and you have a super physical corner duo. Put Dion in the slot, and you're looking pretty good, right? His Darius Slay is absolutely insane. And then moving on to the next one, we have the, I wouldn't say maybe the best, but he's up at the top of my list. He's one of the first guys that came to mind. And that's Ricky Jackson. Uh, Ricky Jackson is super insane. This left outside linebacker again. When he had his first legend card, he was he was one of the best defenders in the game. Crazy stats. This new one, just as good, if not even better, guys. As it's probably the best defender in the game. Powered him come to pill of 95 speed, 95 excel. All right? Great. 91 strength. Great. 97 tackle. Amazing. 96 player amazing. He'll have 99 block shed, 99 power move, and 99 finesse move. So he'll be one of the only guys that that's the, probably the only guy with that speed. And block shit and power move max 99, guys. He's going to be the best run stuffing, pass rushing, fast outside linebacker in the game, hands down, with good strength, good jumping as well, good catching as well, 70 catching. So, like, let's say, you know, like when you know they're gonna run a drag, a oppo field drag or something, or go across the field real quick, and you gotta stop it on a short yardage down, pop him into a hard flat real quick. He will back up into it. He can jump, he can catch, he will be able to play it. 82 change of direction, 95 impact blocking. As well as a 72 zone coverage, which actually isn't horrible. He'll get he'll get the job done in like a pinch. Not to say that he's a zone guy. You should never leave him in a zone. But if you happen to, I think with that catching in the zone, he will be able to at least play it. But guys, about it for the list. So we had Marvin Harrison, Aaron Donald, Nitrin Lane, Edger and James, Aaron Rodgers, Javon Kearse, Gary Slay, and Ricky Jackson. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that Odie bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. And of course, if you want to pick up any of these cards and you need coins, but CoinBank, super cheap prices. Go check it out. Make sure you use code Poodle for your discount at checkout. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.